The holiday in North Texas Lake has now already seen a full season of drownings with half the summer still left to go. This afternoon, search teams on Lake Grapevine found the body of a 19-year-old whose sailboat capsized. Our Jason Allen is live there tonight. And Jason, fire crews told you that they can't remember this many drownings in such a short period of time. There have been four since Mother's Day, Ken. Uh, the teenager today was found in the middle of the lake right behind me. And this is on a lake where safety has been a priority. There are free life jackets that are on the shorelines, but the fire chief told me today they have to find a way to get boaters to put them on. While marine units from Grapevine searched the shoreline, Texas Parks and Wildlife used sonar to look as deep as 50 feet down for a teenager from Flower Mount. The sudden gusty winds that flipped the sailboat he was on Tuesday were strong enough to push the boat across the lake. Five friends were able to hang on that whole time, but they last saw him swimming in the waves. They lost sight of him, and plus with the rolling waves, they just they couldn't keep track of him. Following a boater who drowned Mother's Day weekend, a swimmer who was rescued but later died, and another boater lost in late June, this is close to an average season total for the lake. The law requires boaters to have flotation devices on board boats, but Fire Chief Daryl Brown told us there's little they can do the rest of the season to compel people to put them on. And there's no way for us to, I mean, enforce those laws. It's just like when you put when you drive a car, you're supposed to wear your seatbelt. Most people do. A free life jacket program has seen success for swimmers, and Brown suggested the campaign may need to expand to encourage boaters to join them. And I stand before you and tell you that they were all preventable if, they'd, if the folks would have been wearing a life vest. Chief told us today none of the six people involved in this incident were wearing life jackets. The 19 year old victim has still not been officially identified. Live tonight in Grapevine, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. All right, Jason, thank you very much. Two other drownings over the holiday were confirmed today. Waves at Lake Louisville knocked a 44 year old man off his feet and into the water. Crews found his body this morning. And a 31 year old man disappeared yesterday while swimming at Granbury City Beach. Witnesses say he went under the water and he never came back up.